The ancient Greeks believed that they saw because light beamed out of their eyes. The ancient Persians believed that every single object on Earth emitted rays in every direction. They were wrong. But both groups realized that seeing was connected to light. In fact, we see most things because light travels from a source, bounces off objects, and enters our eyes. The light source doesn't have to be the sun. When I drive at night, light travels from my car's headlights and bounces off... Ah! Bouncy things! Light is a form of energy that travels in waves. Beams of light are made up of many, many waves. Let's pull out one of these light waves and pop it up here. Now watch what happens when I move this dimmer switch. But what about when the distance between the peaks changes? It changes the wave length. White light, like sunlight, is actually a mixture of different wavelengths. When we see these wavelengths together, it's sometimes called the visible spectrum. In a rainbow, we see this spectrum separated out. Lovely. This jelly bean appears red because the wavelength we see as red is reflected while the other visible wavelengths are absorbed. But this jelly bean absorbs all visible light wavelengths except blue. We detect light waves with our eyes, but visible light is just a small section of wavelengths in a much bigger spectrum of wavelengths we can't see. We call this the electromagnetic spectrum. If we could travel along the electromagnetic spectrum, we'd start with extremely small wavelengths, deadly gamma rays. Moving a bit further on, we'd come to the dangerous, but medically useful, X-rays. Then, to ultraviolet rays, which are non-visible light rays that cause our skin to burn. Youch! Oh, here we are back at the rainbow. Passing through the visible spectrum of light, we'd come to infrared, which we can't see, but we can feel. Then to microwaves, which transmit your voice by mobile phone and cook your food. But not at the same time. Next are long wavelengths that are collectively called radio waves. As I said before, we can't see most of these waves, but we know they exist and we know how to use them. Right now I could sure use a doctor. And she could use an X-ray to check if any of my bones are broken. And infrared imaging to see if I have any infection. All good. Now I'm going to go home. Turn on the heater. Make myself a cup of hot chocolate in the microwave. Check my email for any messages. Then watch some TV. Making use of the electromagnetic spectrum has allowed us to live comfortable and connected lives. Wouldn't you agree, mate? Mmm. Exafekata. Can I have a Milo?